Hi, my name is Ollie Jones from IP Trade. Our company develop critical communications and collaboration software that's used in demanding environments such as trading floors and control rooms for dispatch. We've developed what's known as a SIP turret that can directly leverage an IP PBX from providers such as Cisco, Alcatel or Avaya. And with our latest release, version 7.6, I thought it would be a good opportunity to provide an update on some of the core developments that we've incorporated into the version and also show you a demonstration of some of the neat features that will benefit the end user. So in relation to some of the core developments, uh, firstly we're now supported on Cisco UCM version 10 and 10.5. Uh, we've also now it's quite old news, but we are now supporting uh, Windows 2012 and SQL 2012 for our central turret support server application. And we could also support SQL 2012 for the turret proxy open line server. Um, also with the turret proxy open line server, we can deploy it as a hardened appliance for our virtual installations. So if you're using something like VMware, we've got a much more efficient and easy way to roll out TPO instances when and when the, where they're required. Another key development we've done is that we've been able to enhance our integration into Active Directory. So we now provide what's known as single sign-on. So the user can use the same username and password that they can for their PC for their turret. It's going off to the same place for authentication. So streamlining the whole management of uh, password policy. We've also been able to increase our click-to-dial capability. So now from uh, browsers such as Google Chrome and Firefox, we can allow the end user to click on a link and control the line of the turret. So making it faster for them to uh, dial, a, dial a contact, um, dial a number when and when they need to. Um, we have also released something that's quite exciting. It's a new product. It's called our T3 Flex. Basically now with any Windows 7 device, we can turn that into a fully functional and featured turret. So that's got great use cases for things like disaster recovery, mobility, allowing a user to scale the floor quickly and offer turret functions um, to a wider audience. It can also be used for users that don't necessarily want a physical turret on their desk and they want to reduce um, the footprint on the desk and they want to wrap more of the voice application into the desktop. Uh, T3 Flex allows that and it's available with 7.6 so I'm probably going to uh, provide an additional video for that, a separate one to focus purely on that that I'll put up onto this channel uh, when it becomes available. Now for the features that I wanted to show you um, there are a, a large set of features that are available in um, 7.6 but I wanted to focus on three for this video. Uh, the first is called Crosstalk. Uh, the second is called Push to Talk Notification on handsets. And the third is a private button for recording. Um, so Crosstalk, just to give you a picture on a use case for that. Um, say in a trading floor environment, just probably app because I have a, a trading turret profile in front of me. Um, sometimes a trader may need to call a colleague over to their desk and they want to uh, participate in a call but they don't necessarily want to do it by going back to their desk or to another position and then joining onto the line. They simply want to join onto the call without having to put it onto loudspeaker. So we now enable a user to join an existing established call on the second handset from a single button press. So to do that I'll show you by placing a call into uh, the mutual funds desk so the call's now coming in. I'm going to answer that onto my handset one. And as usual, you'll see that there's, some be, there's been some additional features that are made available to me at the bottom here. So simply by pressing on more, I've now got a new feature called Crosstalk. If I press on Crosstalk, it's going to activate the second handset and all three parties, handset one, handset two, and the far party are now in a full duplex conversation. Everyone can participate. Um, if you wanted to remove that participant, it's simply a matter of pressing on crosstalk again. It's going to remove that caller, uh, your colleague, from the call. So, simple to do. All I've had to 
do in terms of configuration for that is through the turret support server I've gone into the shared group and rolled out the crosstalk feature enabled the setting I could do that say on a shared profile for a group of users or I could do it individually on the user profile now the second one I wanted to talk about second feature is the push to talk capability um, so for those that have seen the handsets the physical handsets that we have you'll know that there's a big switch on the back that sh with a light that shows you the status whether or not you've got that handset active if it's in an inactive state then the voice is not going to be passed down that handset if it's active then you know that um, the far party is going to hear what you say down the handset however when you've got that handset to your ear it's not always easy to know the status of that switch so um, what you'll see now in the handset controls is that we've created the handset 1 and handset 2 we now have a color associated to the handset so you'll see one handset 1 is blue handset 2 is grayed out so handset 1 is in an active state handset 2 is um, in a muted state the switch is off you can choose whether or not you want that color to be blue or red um, and also you could have either like handset 1 red blue and handset 2 red and vice versa you've got the option and it's again done through the turret support server so just to show you how that might look if I just switch on handset 2 of my turret sitting next to me uh, you'll see now that it takes control of the handset and I get that blue notification to show me that it's live if I was in a muted state so switched it off and I was going to use the push to talk paddle on the handset itself in the inside of the handset when I press on it you'll see that it lights it up it lamps it up so you get that push to talk capability so really that's your push to talk notification again that's um, administered through the uh, turret support server the thing that is needed for the uh, push to talk notification to work is that you need the expansion module on the turret and you also need to be running uh, release 7.6 so now the final feature that I wanted to show you was the private button. So a use case for that, say in a trading floor environment, would be that um, the trader is making a personal call and doesn't necessarily want that recording to be sent to the logger. Or they may be listening to a TV audio stream and they want to turn off the recording. Um, or for compliance reasons, they just don't need that line recorded at all. So now, just to show you how that might work, I'll place a call into the equities desk. And so, someone's calling in, and I can answer that. And again, through my more button to see the features, the soft keys that are available to me, if I press on here, I'm now gonna be able to see this private button. So if I click on the private button, it now stops the recordings being sent from the turret to the logger only for this call if you've got other calls in progress on your speakers on your other handset then those and they are in a set in a, a um, recording state they're not set to private then they will be sent to the logger however this call I've marked it private so it's not no longer recorded um, just to show you how that might look so if I join from another user so I'm going to join from another position here trader 2 is now joined onto that same call and you'll see I get the bright toast in the top left hand side and what you'll notice is that Trader 1 and Trader 2 Trader 2 now has the red light against their, their name that is because they haven't marked the call private so that voice conversation is still being sent from their turret to the logger if the Trader 2 marked the call private then you're going to see that that recording status uh, disappears or if they both set it back to active recording state then you'll see that both lamps up so that's the the private button that again that needs to be done from the turret support server that can't be enabled or disabled by the end user themselves that has to be done from the central administration platform uh, finally I wanted to show you the uh, recording replay to turret applets um, so you'll see on the bottom right hand side I have my recording applet here and what this allows us to do with a number of leading voice recorders um, we've integrated to provide a replay to turret directly to turret feature 
So here I can search last call, last hour, last day, or search through a series of days. And simply by pressing on, uh, say, the last day's call, I'm now going to pull back the recording from the logger for that um, individual call. When I play it back, it's going to play it back directly to my handset. Uh, so an easy way for an end user to quickly navigate through their calls and retrieve a call without having to go and talk to an administrator um, and slowing down the whole process of, of replay. So if I highlight the call, it gives me a, wav, uh, a bar, a control bar, and if I press on play, it's going to replay that directly to my handset. You'll actually notice when it, when it um, replays, it automatically engages the private button so, because you don't want that recording going back to the logger twice. Uh, so there you have it. Those are the three features that I would, was hoping to show today and also got to show you the replay to turret. So I hope that's been useful. Um, for more information on all of the feature set available within version 7, uh, please contact one of us at sales or pre-sales support. And also visit our website at www.iptrade-networks.com. Please visit this channel again because I'll be uploading more videos as and when um, new features become available, but for now, thank you and goodbye.